Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell it, baby. I know you're gonna get mad and give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna have a have an argument or whatever. But girls, let me tell you, am I right or wrong? Okay, I gotta get just go ahead. I need a consensus around this motherfucker. Okay. Now, I have this fish place that um he had took me to first time in Long Beach. I like the fish. The fish is bomb as a motherfucker, so I'll go out, give me some filet of soul. It's uh nine ninety nine a pound. So, I'll get me uh, about point three oh, so a less less of a half a pound. You know what I'm saying? I always get me some about mm, a little more than a quarter of a pound every time. I never really go over a uh, half a pound that point five oh because that's just too much fish for me. Okay, so I always go less than half of a pound of fillet of sole, and then they have ten medium shrimp for five dollars. That's proper to me. They wing these motherfuckers out to where they, you know, they in a circle. Like they cut them and flip them out. So when they fry them, they be in like circles with the tail part at the bottom. Oh, my God. They, they really fry the fuck out that fish over there at that motherfucking fish market right there in Long Beach. I'm not bullshitting with y'all. The shit is off the chain, okay? But it's this brother that be at the fish market all the time. He got his own little spot. And I guess he sell DVDs. Ain't no problem. Ain't no telling what else that motherfucker sell. You know what I'm saying? Because one day this motherfucker had all kind of things that you put on to the TV and you can watch everything. And then he's subjected to have all kind of little remote control cars and shit. And then that motherfucker had some yo-yo shit going that was lit up one day. He was selling them motherfucker. That motherfucker was out there was lighting them motherfuckers up. It was spinning and doing all kind of little extra twists. I guess they was $5. I didn't really ask nobody, but I know the people that was buying them was just giving him one bill. So I guess it was about $5. Anyway, that let you know we go all the time. Okay, but this shit done cease. So, ladies, okay. So, one day, I go to the fish market, and baby wasn't with me, okay? Oh, boy, of course, that, you know, he worked over there, so, you know, he was out there by his truck or whatever. He was like, hey, how you doing, you know? He was like, where your shadow at? I was like, what you mean, no? Where's, and he's like, where's blanket? I said, what, nigga, what you talking about? You know what I mean? And so he was like, uh, oh boy, that be with you all the time. Where he at, though? I was like, oh, well, you know, he, he not with me today. I came to come give me some fish, you know. But it was nothing. You know what I mean? It was really nothing. You know, he was like, okay, well, where are you from? And I was like, you know, I live in the IE or whatever, you know. And he was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I was like, you know, because, you know, usually people don't be, like, real friendly like you. And it was like, you know, the first day you came, you, you was, you know, real friendly in the fish market and talking to everybody. And, you know, some people was talking to you or whatever, and you was just cool. And so I was just, you know, like, dang, I don't know what she do, but she real hella cool. So, you know, I was just saying hello or whatever, just introducing myself. It was nothing, absolutely nothing. The dude wasn't like, okay, well, then what's happening? No, uh, maybe we can kick it sometime or this, that. None of that kind of shit. He didn't do none of that. He didn't come from that angle. Okay, dude was just cool, whatever. But, of course, he was like, well, what's up with Blake? So, I was thinking maybe he knew, you know, my man. I thought he knew him. So, I was like, oh, okay. But, you know, I didn't say nothing else because he was talking so cavalier. I thought maybe they, they had knew each other or whatever. So, um... I go, I go back in um, to go get my fish because, you know, we talked briefly. It wasn't even nothing. It was casual. Casual shit, okay? And so, I, um, he goes into the fish market or whatever, but I wasn't paying him no attention. Matter of fact, I don't know. I think I was talking to Boo on the, on the end. Me and Babe was probably talking on the phone or something. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing that day. Anyway, I go in and go get my fish. Of course, he know the people at the fish market because he works over there in the same little, you know, in the little strip mall thing. So, you know, it's like, okay, you know each other, whatever. I go in and go get my fish. I come out. And a motherfucker, his number was in the bag. You know what I'm saying? You know how, like, they put your food in, in one of them styrofoam get-ups, and then they'll put the styrofoam get-up with your napkin and tartar sauce and all that bullshit inside of a... A white plastic bag or whatever. Well, inside of the bag was a little piece of paper with his number and shit on it. Okay? Now, mind you, when I got back to the house, you know what I'm saying? I, You know, I had took the number. I was like, oh, psh, what is this? You know what I mean? So I had put it into the, um, you know, the cup holder. The car. Go in the house. 
not thinking nothing of it because I had to go to food for less or whatever. I was coming back home to come cook some dinner or whatever for Bay. So, um, I had told him that I didn't bring the, the punch because he loves juice. And I was telling him that I had, I had left the juice out in the car and if he can go out and go get it out the car. He goes out to the car, go get the juice. But he going through, rambling through shit. Because this motherfucker go through my glove compartment, my sides of the doors, compartment in the center. Oh, I ain't got no secrets. Because <laughs> he going to find the motherfucker. I mean, he's going through all my shit. All the time. Because he's constantly thinking I'm up to something, which I'm up to nothing. Okay? So he come out there, and he's looking all through the car and shit, whatever he was doing. He comes across the number, and he comes back in the house with the motherfucking crayon grape and tripping. I'm like, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Now, before he went out there, I had already told him, I said, oh, baby, uh, when I went over there to the fish market, I saw an old boy, you know, and, you know, it was, I, do you know him like that? And he was like, um, yeah, I seen a nigga a couple times, you know what I'm saying? I say what's happening to him, but, you know what I'm saying? Me and this nigga don't really, you know what I'm saying? We, we ain't about no money or nothing. I was like, oh, okay, well, I thought maybe you knew him because, you know, um, when I saw him today, you know, it was just casual conversation, and, you know, he's a real cool cat or whatever. And, um, because he was saying, the guy was saying that his name was Chicago or from Chicago or something about Chicago. So I was thinking maybe, you know, they knew each other because, you know, the Chicago connection. You know what I'm saying? Because baby knows something about Chicago, so then therefore, he's not from Chicago, but, you know, it's a Chicago connection. So I'm thinking that maybe they was friends based on old, the way old boy was talking. Did, when I tell you, mine, no, went ballistic. I mean, oh my God, it went all bad. Mind you, me and this motherfucker, this nigga didn't sit in my car. This motherfucker, me and this nigga didn't sit up and break bread. We didn't share shrimp together. We didn't do none of that, okay? Casual conversation. This motherfucker was like, oh, okay, well, I just, you know, want to introduce myself. I, you know, I know one time you came up here and people was kind of talking to you, whatever. I just didn't know, who, you know, what was up or, you know... And I was just, you know, inquiring about you or whatever. And I saw you came by yourself. So I was just, you know, being funny about the, you know, the blanket thing or whatever. So it was just, you know, that was it. Oh, my, but he left me his number in the bag. Okay. So, my no went nuts. So since then, and this was months back. Since then, I've been banned from the fish market. I can't go to that fish market no more. Now, if we on the phone and we talking and I'm down there. In his, in his city, then therefore he'll tell, he want to tell me on what fish market I can go to. Okay, there's a fish market off of Wilmington and Whoop that Whoop. Um, they sell for less, so about a pound and this, this, and that. And they're pretty good. Um, I'm going to text you the address, put it in the nap, and uh, there it is. And, uh, that's the fish market you're going to go to today. This is the kind of shit that he be, you know, be on me with. He want me to go where the fuck he want me to go to. Now, the other day, he sent me another address. Oh, this is where you're going to get some lunch at. Now, he good about, you know what I'm saying, here's some lunch money. Go get you a, you need to go get you a Jamba Juice today. And you go over there and go get you some fish and stuff. Oh, I get allowance like a motherfucker almost every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm subjected. Here's $50. Here's, you know what I'm saying, $100. Go, you know, whatever. You you know, I know you like to go to Goodwill. Go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Here's a couple of this right here. Go get this. You know, my baby is real good to me on that. I mean, not a problem. I mean, he's real, real cool on that. And so... This particular day, you know, he had left me some money and said, okay, well, look, uh, go get you some lunch, you know, when you get up, you know, because he leaves early. So, go get you some lunch when you get up, whatever, go get your jamba juice, you know, I'm going to call you about 10 o'clock. Shit. So, the other day, we had an argument the night before on some other shit. I'm not going to get into all that, but we had an argument the other night. And so, um, it was really no end. It was really no end, and then the next, so then the next morning when he got up, of course, he, the motherfucker all on my motherfucking back trying to get some pussy, you know what I mean? So, I was like, uh, I ain't really want to. I ain't really want to because, first of all, we didn't have this argument last night. That shit ain't really over with, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a little bit tight, you know what I'm saying? But now you on this right here. Nigga, I ain't really, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I don't really want to right now, you know what I'm saying? So, I was on one of them. Anyway, so the argument was still on. Still on, still on, still on. That was the same day I was going to go get my um, eyebrows done, which was Wednesday. So being that we was arguing and all that kind of stuff, I went to rallies, found out, listen, hey, 
Riley's though got the cold ass motherfucking sweet tea. I'm gonna ask that you go check that out because Riley's. Oh my God, they sweet tea is. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. I thought McDonald's sweet tea was on a different level. I thought Cooper's tea was on a different level over there at Seven Eleven. But that motherfucking Riley's burgers, they sweet tea. Oh my God, it beats the shit out of Popeyes, churches. All them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It eats that shit up. It low-key give McDonald's a run for its money. On some real shit. So now, on, on, on my top motherfucking three, here it is right here. Exclusive. Coming from me. You know what I'm saying? Raglan level. It's going to be Rallies, McDonald's, and Cooper's Tea. That's my shit. So the other day, we was arguing. We were still arguing. Okay? There was no, there was no um, closure to it. So when he, when he left, he was like, well, I want you to go with me today. I was like, well, I don't want to go with you today. I got something to do. And and I got to go. Uh, I have an appointment with Linda at 1 o'clock, and I don't want to miss my appointment. So, no, I don't want to go with you today. I'm going to go do me today. You know? So, of course, now we both leave the house mad Wednesday. So, while I was going to get my eyebrows done, he texted me. He was like, well, um... Why don't you go to Riley's go get you a sweet tea? I was already at Riley's. So when, when he texts me, we'd be on the same wavelength. So when he texts me, why don't you go to Riley's and get you a sweet tea? I texted him back the picture that I was in the drive through at Riley's. I had just left from there, right? It took her about, ooh, a couple of hours because she numb, numbed you. And then it took a long time for it to numb because, you know, I take a lot of supplements and vitamins and stuff like that. And sometimes... You know, it'll take a little bit number, uh, longer for you to numb. So, <clears throat> she came out, she put the numb and stuff, but she used a clear lidocaine. Where, I mean, a, 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 yeah, a clear lidocaine type substance. And But when I had got my eyebrows done before, it was more of like a white paste um, that was used before. So, But this time it was a clear. So, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I let her know I was allergic to latex. You know what I'm saying? Watch what you use, you know what I mean? And so, and it was all good, but she'd take this blade and do these strokes to make it appear as though it's strands of hair. So, she do these type of things, strokes, okay? Just cutting your skin, pow, pow, pow. You know, in angles of strokes to make it appear as though it's hair. And uh, then she put the ink. And allow the ink to settle in. Then she go back to, and then wipe that off. And then she go back to doing the microblading, you know, with this, like, needle type thing. And it's going up. So it's not like the shading in, like tattooing. It's not that. It's like strokes. So it actually looks like actual strands of hair. Okay? So right now, it's scabbed over. It looks shiny because I put some A&D ointment on it while ago. So that's why it's looking like it's looking like. And so I'm trying to keep it moist, even though I didn't put none on yesterday. But this morning, it was really kind of itchy before I cut this on. So I was like, okay, let me put a little A&D on there to kind of keep me from scratching it the fuck up and fucking up my outcome, you know. So I was like, nah, let me put some A&D on, ointment on it. So anyway, so when he had texted me, why don't, you go get, why don't you go get you a sweet tea from Riley's? So I text him back, boo, I'm already here, babe. And I didn't say nothing else. And then he texts back, well, what you gonna eat? I text him back, I'm going to the fish market. <laughs> he didn't text me no more, right? So I goes to the fish market, which was just, you know, not too far from where Rallies was. I go to the fish market, and it was, it was nothing. Old boy was with his customers or whatever. I didn't even talk to this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I just let him know. You know what I'm saying? He was like, hey, Miss Lady, how you doing? I was like, hey, you know, and kept on going on. Because I already knew that this one right here is subjected to have my ass under surveillance or whatever. Yeah, I'm low-key. Like I was telling telling um, my partner, I said, you know what? He got me taped on some kind of conversation or something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, I don't know if this motherfucker got me under surveillance or got some kind of tracking device on my ass or where the fuck I be going. I don't know. So when um, I goes in there, I go get me some fish. I got me uh, less than a half a pound. About I got me about a quarter pound of filet of sole. 
and the 10 medium shrimp, the shit was like $7 and something, right? And that was it. I go before I can even get to the house. He had called, where are you at? I said, I'm over here getting some gas in the car because I was leaving, you know, going home uh, Thursday, yesterday. So, uh, you went to the fish market? I said, uh, babe, what's the problem? Did you go to the fish market? I'm like, wow, what's the fucking problem? I'm like, are you serious right now? Did you go to the fish market, Tina? Yeah, I went to the fish market. That motherfucker hung up. When I got to his motherfucking house, this nigga was in a tyrant. When I tell you he was in a tyrant, something that I had never seen before. I mean, to where the neighbor was like, hey, do I need to call somebody out here? Because this motherfucker was going ballistic because I went to the motherfucking fish market. We cool now. He done digressed and all that. But I'm like, wow, this is what I'm, what I got to deal with. You know what I mean? This is what the fuck I, I don't know if it's a territorial thing, <laughs> a jealous thing, or what the fuck it is. But God damn it, if my motherfucking ass is in the bathroom too motherfucking long, this nigga's in there. Fuck locking the door. This nigga's coming in like, and, and standing up at the door like, okay, well, what, 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 what's going on? What's taking you so motherfucking long? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. You been out the shower now for a few minutes. Well, how many steps it take? I was like, if you don't knock it off and get the fuck out of here right now. I'm putting body oil and shit and brushing teeth and shit and all this shit. But he feel like, well, what's taking you so goddamn long? If you don't calm down. Yes, 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 yes. So it fucks with my creativity, ladies. It truly, truly does. It fucks with my creativity to come on here. Because some days I'll be mad at the motherfucker. Especially when I done had the bar to the fucking come home now. And then especially when, you know, it's like, okay, well, where are you at now? I was like, okay, I'm on, I'm on, okay, well, where are you at? I was like, oh, wow. I'm telling you, I'll be, oh, sometime I'll be tripping. I don't know if it's some type of tracking device on my ass or what, because I could be at a certain light and this motherfucker will call and be like, where the fuck you at? I'm like, wow, hold on, nigga. I'm on the corner of King Boulevard and whoop that whoop. Oh, all right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You feel me? I don't know what the fuck it is. I was like, shit. I never should have let that motherfucker know it did what it did. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck it is. But God damn. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, um, baby, I, I love you a lot, but you ain't got to do me all like this. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a little bit much though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not accustomed to it. You know what I mean? This right here on the reg on the regular. I'm not accustomed to this shit. And constantly accusing me of being